Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this Freddy Krueger inspired beanie. I love this beanie because I love how it looks like it has all the rips in it from Freddy's claws. And um, it gives me real Nightmare on Elm Street vibes. So stay tuned and find out how to crochet this super cute um, Nightmare on Elm Street inspired beanie. Okay, what you're going to need to make this beanie is you're going to need some red and green yarn and I will leave my affiliate link down below um, for Amazon so you can see exactly what colors of yarn that I use. You're going to need your 5mm crochet hook, so I've got that right there. And um, you're also going to need your size chart. So um, you're going to need to decide what size of the beanie that you want to make. And that's in my community page in my, um, on my YouTube community page there. And you're going to need a measuring tape and you're going to need some scissors. And um, you can make this with or without the pom-pom on top, either one. But if you want to make it with the pom-pom, then you're going to need a pom-pom maker. And I think I'm going to make the adult medium size on this. So to get started, I'm going to start with the red and I'm going to make a magic ring. I'm going to make a double magic ring. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll uh, link that video below so you can see exactly how to make a double magic ring. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to make eight half double crochets in that magic ring. So I'm just going to work around the magic ring and I'm going to do eight half double crochets with the red. And you could start with the green if you want to, but I wanted to start and finish with red since um, Freddie's shirt um, has kind of starts and finishes with red. So at the um, top of the shirt, there's red and at the bottom of the shirt, there's red. So that's kind of why I wanted to start and end with red. And so you just continue to do your half double crochets all the way around your double magic ring. And after you do a, all I'm doing is I'm pulling that tail a little bit and then the end that pulled, I'm pulling that other end so I can make that inner ring there really tight and then after I've got that inner ring really tight then I'm going to pull the tail again here and then I'm going to make that ring super super tight and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch the first half double crochet that I made and um, I like to count them just so I don't get mixed up on what um, make sure I'm working in that right in the correct half double crochet there so you just slip stitch into that first half double crochet that you made and then from there you're going to chain one and you're going to do two half double crochets in each of these stitches and that's going to be a total of 16 stitches there in row two here. So we're in that round two, you're going to do two half double crochets in each stitch. And then that's going to be a total of 16 stitches for this, um, for this row. And then you're going to slip stitch in that first half double crochet made and then after that, you're going to chain one and then you're going to do two half double crochets in that first stitch and then one half double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. And then this row will end up having 24 stitches total. So row three here is going to have 24 stitches total. And um, you're just going to repeat that sequence all the way around until you get to the end. And if you have a hard time um, seeing where you started, then you may want to get a stitch marker or a bobby pin or even a piece of yarn and mark that first stitch that you worked in just so you can um, make sure that you actually see that first stitch that you started and you don't get confused there. Now. What I did there was I just slip stitch into that first stitch made, I chained one, and now I'm going to, in row four, do one half double, 
or two half double crochets in that first stitch and one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then I'm going to repeat that sequence all the way around and this round will have 32 stitches total. So row four or round four will have 32 stitches total and I'm doing two half double crochets in one stitch and then one half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then I'm just repeating that sequence all the way around. And guys, if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out. And um, then you would get to see all the fun new projects that I have coming out. And again, just continue this all the way around. And when you get to the first half double crochet that you made, all you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet made. And then you're going to chain one. And then you're going to do two half double crochets in that first half double crochet made. And then you're going to do one half double crochet in each of the next three. And then you're going to repeat this all the way around. And on this row, row five, you will have 40 stitches total. So again, you're just doing two half double crochets in one stitch. And then you're doing one half double crochets in each of the next three stitches. And then you're going to repeat that all the way around. And you will have 40 stitches total on this row. So we're at the end of this row here, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to change our color. So now you have, you went through that first half double crochet you made, and you have two loops on your hook. So you didn't complete your slip stitch. So what you're going to do is you're going to change to your green yarn now, and you're just going to loop that green yarn around your hook and you're going to pull through the green and that's how you're finishing your slip stitch is pulling through that green. Now you're going to chain one just like you've been doing. And now you're going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch and then you're going to do one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And you're going to repeat that sequence around and on this one you're going to have a total of 48 stitches. So again I am just doing two half double crochets in one stitch and then I'm going to do one half double crochet in the next four stitches and then I'm just repeating that pattern all the way around until I get to the first half double crochet that I made in this row, row six. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that I made. And right here, it was kind of funny because I was looking at it and I was thinking, man, it could almost look like a watermelon coaster if I put some uh, little pieces of black in the middle of that. It could almost look watermelonish. All right, so now that I'm at the first half double crochet that I made, I'm going to slip stitch into that first one. And then I'm going to chain one 
And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and tie this off because I don't want these strings kind of hanging out. It's going to bother me. And you could work them in. You don't have to tie them off. I Honestly, I think it's easier tying them off. And, um, and it holds just as well. So I like to tie them off. So that's what I'm going to do. But you don't have to. You could weave them in. Or you could do a little bit of both. So I'm just going to cut that excess yarn off and then I'm going to continue. So I'm chain one there and I'm just going to measure it now. I want to see about how far I need to go before I, um, before I'm uh, done and just can work down. So I'm really, I'm about four and a half inches. So I got quite a ways to go here. I need to go to seven inches there. So I've got quite a ways to go. So I'm going to do two half double crochets in that first stitch made, and I'm going to do one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches, and then I'm going to repeat this sequence all the way around. And on um, this round, I'm going to have 56 stitches total, and this is um, row number seven. So on row number seven, I'm going to have 56 stitches total. And again, I'm just doing two half double crochets in one stitch and then one half double crochet in the next five stitches. And then I'm repeating that sequence all the way around until I get to that first half double crochet that I made. And when I get to that first half double crochet that I made, I'm going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet and I'm just going to continue my green and so our sequence from here on out is going to be three rows of green and then three rows of red and we're going to just switch back and forth until we get to the length you need so if you were doing a, an infant what we did was um, we did five rows um, for the Red, so I'd probably, if I was doing this for an infant, I would do probably three rows of red and I would just do the three back and forth until I get the length that I needed there. So here, as you can see, it's kind of looking like it's got some edges and I really don't like that. You see kind of how there's some points there. It's looking kind of, I don't know, I'm not loving how that looks. So now it's time that we start staggering what we do. So we just need to stagger our stitches here so it doesn't look like it has points at all. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do half double crochet in the first two, three. So I'm going to do one half double crochet in the first three stitches. I'm going to do two half double crochets in that fourth stitch and now I'm going to do one half double crochet in the next six stitches so it's the same amount but you're just staggering that first one so those stitches come out when you do the two half double crochets they come out pretty much in the very middle of the um of the when you were doing the two before so again now I'm doing two half double crochets and then one half double crochet in the next stitch and I'm going to repeat that all the way around and at the very end after I do the last set of two half double crochets I'm going to have three stitches left at the end so I'm just going to do one half double crochet in those three stitches at the end and then this round round eight will have 64 stitches total in it so I'll have 64 total stitches in round eight here and again I'm just repeating that sequence all the way around and I split those numbers up at the very first so um, I would even out and I wouldn't have those edges when I work my way around so that's the reason we split those numbers up is so we wouldn't have the edges because I just I really don't like the way that looks so here I've got three more stitches left, so I'm just going to half double crochet into those three stitches left, and then I'm going to make a slip stitch at the very top of that one that I started with, and now I'm going to change 
to red actually. So I'm going to take out what I just did. I'm going to cut my yarn and then I'm going to switch out to my red yarn. So here I'm just taking out that slip stitch and then I'm inserting my hook in that first half double crochet made. I'm pulling up a loop of green and now I'm going to get my red yarn. I'm going to put it on my hook and I'm going to pull through that red and I'm going to chain one. And now what I'm going to do is I've decided I'm just going to go ahead and attach it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my knot in there to tie those off and I'm going to go ahead and cut them. That way I don't have to think about it later. And again, if you wanted to weave these in, go right ahead and weave them in. You don't have to do it the way I do it. Do it your preferred method. But I find this holds just as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing my half double crochet. So I'm going to do one half double crochet in that first stitch that we made there. And then I'm going to continue. I'm going to do one half double crochet in the first four stitches. And then that fifth stitch, I'm going to do two half double crochets. And then after I do those two half double crochets, I'm going to do one half double crochet in the next seven stitches. And I'm just going to repeat that part around doing two half double crochets in one stitch and one half double crochet in the next seven stitches. And this row, this row, row eight, is going to have 72 stitches total on it. And again, I'm just repeating this pattern now all the way around of two half double crochets in one stitch and then one half double crochet in the next seven stitches. And then I'm repeating that all the way around. And when I get all the way around to my last two half double crochets in one stitch, I should have four stitches remaining. And then I'm just gonna do one half double crochet in each of those four stitches remaining. And then I'm going to um, do a slip stitch to that first half double crochet that I made and then I'm going to um, then I'm just going to keep on going with the red in in this pattern of three rows of green and then three rows of red and then again this row eight for me is going to have 72 half double crochets total on it and you may not have this many as me you may you know be doing it for somebody younger a child something like that or or someone that has a bit smaller of a head circumference so if you are doing that then you can stop you know at wherever the circumference is that you need it to be so here I'm just half double crocheting to that first that I made I'm chaining one and now I'm just laying this flat for a couple of reasons one I want to make sure that it evened out and it looks round again so it looks round again which I'm really happy with and now also I'm going to measure it so I've got it right at oh it's right at that seven inches there so I'm happy with that so from now on what I'm going to do for the rest of this beanie is I'm just going to do one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And I'm going to remember every three rows now I'm going to switch colors. And I will be telling you where to um, do the rips at. I like doing the rips where it's um, when we switch colors. So at the color switches because that seems like to me logically that's kind of where a sweater would be unraveling and I kind of want to mimic that look a little bit so that's where I'm going to switch colors at now you could or I mean that's where I'm going to create my rips at now you could create them anywhere that you wanted to um I'm of course I'm going to tell you how to do that but really you can create those rips anywhere that you want to and um and it's kind of super fun. You could make more than me. You could make less than me. But um, I kind of think the more the better, the kind of cooler it looks, the more rips you create. But, um, but yeah, you just continue all the way around until you get to that first half double crochet that you made. And you're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet you made. 
and you're going to chain one and then you're going to keep on doing it going one half double crochet in each stitch around until you get to that first one and then every three you're going to switch colors and you're just going to keep doing that around and around and then we're going to make our rips when we switch from the red color to the green color we're going to start making our first rip there So now I'm switching colors from my red to my green and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to tie this off while I'm at it now. Of course you can weave your ends in like before but I'm going to tie it off and go ahead and cut it. So now I'm going to do half double crochets, one half double crochet in each stitch around and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to make let's say 20. So I'm going to do um, a total of 20 half double crochets in this round and then after I get my 20 half double crochets done I'm going to make some chain stitches So now I'm at that 20 half double crochets made, so I'm going to chain one, two, three, and I'm going to skip three half double crochets. So I'm going to skip three of those stitches and I'm going to half double crochet in that fourth stitch from my hook there. So I'm half double crocheting in that fourth stitch. So one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, and that fourth stitch right there. I'm going to half double crochet in that. And then I'm going to just half double crochet in each stitch all the way around again. So you see I have a little gap there. I'm going to half double crochet in each stitch all the way around until I get to that first half double crochet that I made in this um, round. And then when I get to that first half double crochet that I made, I'm going to chain one. I'm, or I'm going to slip stitch with that first half double crochet that I made and I'm going to chain one after that. And here, my yarn, it wasn't looking um, very good, so I had to, um, it kind of messed up, the piling kind of messed up, so I needed to cut my yarn and um, tie another piece together. So I'm tying my yarn together there, and now I'm going to continue going around, doing half double crochets all the way around. Now I'm back at that first half double crochet made so I just slip stitch to that first half double crochet that I made 
and now I'm going to continue doing half double crochets all the way around and I'm going to when I get to that chain three area I'm just going to make three half double crochets in that chain space so it's not going to be one in each chain it's going to be three half double crochets in the chain space itself so you see I'm going around that space there instead of making my half double crochets in the chains themselves so you see that gap right there so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to do just half double crochets all the way around on this row until I get to the first half double crochet that I made and then I'm going to um, slip stitch the first half double crochet that I made chain one and do one more row of green and then after that I'm going to switch to red and when I switch to red we're going to make um, some more tears now I'm just slip stitching to that first half double crochet that I made and now I'm just going to continue making one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around um, until I get to the first half double crochet that I made on this round and when I do that I'm going to um, make my kind of half slip stitch and I'm going to color change to red again and um, this color change to red we're going to make some more tears in our hat or what looks like tears in our in our little beanie here All right, so now I'm slip stitching to that first one made and now I'm changing colors. So I'm changing colors to the red. I'm going to go ahead again. And I'm going to tie this off and just cut it right now. And then I'm going to start making my half double crochets around and I'm just going to measure this just to kind of see. I know I've got a long ways to go though. I just wanted to see how long it was getting. So now I'm just making my half double crochets and I'm doing them all the way around until I get to where I want to make my um, my next tear. And I'm going to count 40 stitches. So that first tear is going to be at 40 stitches around now. So I'm going to make my 40 half double crochets one in each one in each stitch and then when I get to my 40th half double crochets I'm going to make my chain stitches again but this time my chain stitches I'm going to make more so here I am I'm got my 40 made right there and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one two three four five six seven so I'm did seven chain stitches I'm going to count seven of the stitches below in the green and I'm going to skip all seven of those stitches and I'm going to half double crochet in that eighth stitch so I skip seven stitches and I'm half double crocheting in that eighth stitch and now I'm going to just do one half double crochet in each stitch around until I get to the first half double crochet that I made and when I get to that first half double crochet that I made, I'm just going to slip stitch to that first half double crochet and I'm going to keep on going with my red. So here I made it all the way and now I've got my chain space there with my seven chains and then I'm going to work those chains into that space right there. Not to the chains themselves, into that space where the chains are. So I'm going to work um, seven half double crochets into that chain space. And if they're not very even looking, you can kind of pull them so they look more even. 
So I'm going to do my 40 half double crochets first, and I'm going to do seven half double crochets in that chain space. And then I'm just going to keep on going with my one half double crochet in each space around until I get to that first one that I made. And I'm going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that I made. And I'm just going to do one half double crochet in the next round. Um, in each half double crochet from the previous round. I'm at my last row of red here, so I am um, just going to measure again, see how long it is. So I'm not quite there. I've at least got another inch to go anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch to my green now because I've made my three rows of red. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to my green. And then, of course, I've got, I'm going to just pull my green through and I'm going to tie it in the back like I've been doing. And now on this row, this is going to be my last actual row here of um, of half or my last three rows. So green's going to be my last real color. Here's what I'm trying to say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make more of the um, kind of slashes because this is going to be closer down on the head, closer to the forehead kind of area here. So I'm going to make more slashes in this one. What I'm doing is I'm going to make one half double crochet in those first 25 half double crochets. And then once I do that, I'm going to um, make my chains. So I'm just doing one half double crochet in those first 25 stitches. And then when I'm done with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do chain six so I'm going to chain six and then I'm going to skip six stitches so I'm going to half double crochet in that seventh stitch so I skip six stitches and half double crochet in that seventh stitch and now I'm going to half double crochet in the next two stitches so one two and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain five so one two three four Five. Now I'm going to skip five stitches. So five stitches. I'm going to half double crochet in that sixth stitch. And then I'm going to half double crochet until I get past that um, the rip that I made on the previous round. So I'm just going to half double crochet until I get about so I'm going to half double crochet to about 10 past the uh, the previous slash there. So the previous space there. So I'm going to do I'm going to do 10 half double crochets past past that slash right there or the uh, space from the previous change. And now this time I'm going to chain four. So I'm going to do one two, three, four, and now I'm going to skip four, and I'm going to, in the fifth one, I'm going to half double crochet in that fifth one, and now I'm just going to half double crochet all the way around, and when I get to that first half double crochet that I made, I'm going to chain, or I'm going to slip stitch to that first half double crochet that I made, and I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to continue to do half double crochets all the way around and I'm just going to do one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay. 
And when I get to that space right there, I'm going to do six half double crochets right in that chain space. And I'm going to do three half double crochets. And then I'm going to do five half double crochets in that next chain space. So just five half double crochets in that next chain space. And then I'm going to do one half double crochet in each of the next half double crochets until I get to my next chain space. And then when I get to my next chain space, I'm going to do four half double crochets in that chain space. And then I'm just going to kind of keep on going all the way around until I get to that first half double crochet that I made. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that I made. And I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to do one half double crochet um, all the way around until I get to my... Um, until I get to that first half double crochet that I made on this round. And then after this round, my hat's going to be long enough, so I'm going to switch to red and then I'm going to do my finishing round. So I just slip stitch to that first one made. I'm going to take my hook out because I want to, I really want to look at it here and I want to see how long it really is. So I'm measuring it now and it's good. That's yeah, seven inches. That's pretty good. That's, I'm happy with that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to red. So I'm just going to pull the red through there and then I'm going to tie it off again. So I'm just going to tie it and cut it like I've been doing this whole time. So I'm going to tie it here and I'm going to cut those ends off. And now the finishing stitch I'm going to do is going to be a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one. So here I'm chaining one and now I'm going to, and I'm going to pull up a loop in that next stitch. So I'm going to put my yarn under, go through so guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one, I'm going to single crochet in that first stitch, I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to single crochet in that next stitch, and I'm going to repeat that pattern, and I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around until I get to the end, and I will see you at the end of this, guys, so I'm just going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So now that I've got my pattern done, I'm going to slip stitch into that first one that I made, and um, I'm just going to cut my yarn off, and um, now I'm going to make the pom-pom or the little puff part there. Um, and you can make it with or without the puff. I like it both ways. I can't decide which way I like better. And guys, if you're liking this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and um, ring the bell so you get notifications of when I've got new videos coming out. I'm going to have some fun stuff for Christmas also. So be sure to stay tuned for all of that. And here I'm just going to work this in and I'm going to just kind of work it in back and forth until I'm satisfied that it's really stable and really in as much as um, I can get it worked in. And then I'm just going to cut it off. And then from there, I'm going to make that um, puff or that pom pom on top. You can see here, I'm just kind of going through some back loops there. I'm going to make a knot. I'm just going to, you know, kind of just work this in as best as I can so it won't come undone. I'm going to double knot that too. That way I know it's really, really secure.
And again, if you like it like this, just, you know, leave it like that. I think it looks really cool like that. I don't think you need a pom-pom on it. But then I thought, started thinking about it. I thought, well, you know, it might look kind of cool. And we do have a big space of red there. So maybe I'll see how the pom-pom looks. And I really like how it looks. And this is just a pom-pom maker. So you just take your yarn, you open it up, and you just wrap the yarn around like a whole bunch of times, like, you wrap it around so much that you don't think you're going to be able to fit any more yarn on it. So you just keep on wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping all the way around until you don't think you can fit any more yarn on it. And then once you're satisfied with it, after that, you can just close it up. You can cut the yarn, so cut the piece, and then you open up the other end. I need to pull a bunch of this green out here. So... So you just take your colors and however many colors you're using, whatever colors you want your pom-pom to be, obviously that's what you're going to use. And you're just going to do the same thing that you did before, just wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap until you um, don't think you can fit any more all around that thing. So you just keep on, keep on, and keep on, and keep on wrapping over and over and over again. And you want it to be in the middle part you don't want it to get I have a problem with it getting hung up just a little bit on those edges so you want it to be in that middle part and not on the edges and now what you're going to do is you're just going to take some scissors and you're going to work all the way around it I'm going to have to get my big scissors here because these scissors are just not going to work so I'm going to have to get my big scissors and I'm going to work all the way around it with my bigger scissors and you cut all the way around one side and then you cut all the way around the other side and then you get a piece of string a long string and then you just go in the middle and you tie it in the middle um you need to probably tie it twice i did it once that time and then removed the pom-pom and then i was like oh crud i should have done it one more time so now i'm doing it one more time and now you open it up completely and now you just trim all those ends it's kind of satisfying it makes a little bit of a mess but it is kind of satisfying just going around trimming all those ends up to make the pom-pom super cute and you just go around and around until you have all the ends about even until you're satisfied with the way it looks so you just keep on trimming around until you're happy with the way that pom-pom looks and now what I'm going to do after I'm done here is I'm just going to attach the pom-pom. I wanted to take pictures um, before I attached it, so I cut the video off and uh, went and took some pictures of it the way it looked before. And so now I'm just pulling those two long strings through, and I'm going to tie them in the middle and then just cut them off, and I will be done, guys. This is a really fun, quick, easy Halloween kind of beanie to make. It'd be great with a costume also. And I've still, I didn't, as you can see, cut that string off that was in the middle yet. So after I tie these together, I'm going to um, tie that string onto one of these ends. And then I'm just going to cut that string off. And, um, and there you go. And then we will be all the way finished with this beanie. And guys, I hope you enjoyed making this with me. If you did, again, please um, subscribe to my channel. Um, you can make these and sell them at any event that you want to. But please credit me back. Credit my channel back. And um, don't make another video or write the pattern down and sell it or anything like that. I would really appreciate that. And um, yeah, if other people want to make this, just refer them to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. And um, I hope you guys love this. Happy hooking, everyone.